maybe I'll just do some bootlegs of the, you know, the yeah. catalog and just well, sell so yeah, them to Camden Market you know, for yeah. four quid. <laughs> exactly, fine. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we won't, I mean, we, you know, we shouldn't Who's really say that, but... Warren G is, um, Dr. Dre's cousin, is he, or something? Is he, is... is Warren that G, right? I think, is his cousin, yeah. But I, I know he's got a famous brother as well, and I found, I, I think it's something like Nate Dog. It could well be Nate Dog. We could, maybe someone would know that and could yeah. email you, or phone you, in. Yeah, or email maybe a kind of family This is the truth. best thing about being on the um, radio, I can, I can think of something. There was a competition, right, on Virgin, right, I was listening, Virgin, I think 105.4, no, what is it? Oh, I, I can't know. remember. Yeah. Um, good station. Good, good station, yeah. good station. Um, and they had a competition, right, and it was to win a trip to America for the, on the Enterprise, and it was all about space. And there was one, there was one question, about answer three, right, and it was, who was the first one into space, Yuri Gagarin, um, who was doing that. And then the third question was, um, how, how much bigger than the moon is the sun? Is it twice as big or four times as big? And this one went four times as big, went correct. It's not. It's hundreds it's of times bigger. More big, I can't yeah. believe, uh, can someone... Look that up on the internet. And how many times bigger is the sun than the moon? It's not four times. It's it's huge. It's like beach ball to a pea type dimension. Which DJ was oh. it? Do you remember on Virgin? I can't remember, but it was the one on sort of about eleven o'clock. Oh, 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 wouldn't want to be him. Right yeah, he's embarrassed himself. He's embarrassed he? himself. Well, Everyone we do quizzes. Good. We never get anything wrong. That's true. Enough. During that track, I'm I'm chilling out. I'm loving it, aren't yeah. I? Carl goes. Do you know how baguettes came about? <laughs> Do you know how baguettes come about? I went, go on, and Steve went, no, save it. Wait a minute, though, I'm thinking, Rick, people are going to be desperate to know the answer to that. Why don't we play some uh, ads and some music and stuff? It's like a cliffhanger. Exactly. How did ba baguettes come about? Whatever he says is going to be good, Stay tuned to XFM to find out. Hives. I hate to say I told you so. So I love that sort of stuff. Mm. That and the strokes. Well, it's so much better than all this new metal rubbish, isn't it? Definitely. Now, most people think we talk rubbish on air. Yep. If they could hear the conversations Off that air. go on, I know. But um, someone just emailed in saying the sun is indeed about four hundred times bigger than the moon. Thanks for that. Uh, uh, that that DJ must have looked it up and said um, four hundred times. That can't be right. It's probably they probably it's probably a printing error. Four times. <laughs> yeah. Nothing can be four hundred times bigger <laughs> than the moon. Um, <laughs> Carl went, yeah, but the sun, it's only got a million years, isn't it? I went, what? He went, on that space programme, it said that in a million years, the sun will be destroyed. And he said, and then we're all shafted. <laughs> right? I went, I laughed. Steve went, no, it's okay. By then, we'll be on another planet. <laughs> no, I think that's yeah. true. We'll have colonised right. other planets. Carl went, yeah, but there'd be no sun. Steve went, well, there's other suns, which is true. Carl went, well, I went, well, yeah, ev every star is a sun. Carl went, mm, well, not, not really. Not really. Don't, don't believe that, <laughs> do you? And I went, no, it is. The sun is just a star. It's not even a particularly big star. Carl went, well, why didn't they say that instead of worrying me? <laughs> instead of worrying me. In a million years' time. Yeah. I love yeah. that Carl, he's been preserved, brought back to life, <laughs> and is now the ruler of the world. Just a head in yeah. a fish tank. <laughs> and he speaks like this. I am Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, the reason you became king of the universe, of course, is because of your fascinating French bread anecdote. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. What come on the then. What? Well, how? Uh, how did baguettes come about? If this is going to be someone uh, cooked a loaf a bit wrong and said oh, I can still make a sandwich out of it, <laughs> I'm going to hit is you. That no, 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 no. Go on then. Um, right, Napoleon, when he was at war and that with um, Russia, uh -huh. 1812. Yeah. Yeah. All his soldiers were like, you know, not used to the cold weather and that. <laughs> so they said, take, take some clothes in your bag with you because it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be Chilly. nippy, nippy yeah. out there. So um, they put all the clothes in the bag. Sure. Do what they were told. Thought, oh, it's Napoleon for Christ's sake. No I room thought. for any food. No room for You're any joking. Food. So could um, they make some sort of like sandwich? <laughs> no, it won't fit because of all the clothes. You have to take extra yeah. gear. Sure, sure. Them. <laughs> so, um, anyway, he said, I can I see I where know. this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be is there a baguette-shaped gap <laughs> left in their holdall? They thought, let's make some bread that you can fit down your trouser leg. What? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not true. I read it in Newston train station. I was waiting to go back to Manchester. Where did you read it? Scrawled on the wall in graffiti. Yeah. Do you know the upper was it also <laughs> meet me here for cock fun at twelve o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> the upper cross sandwich shop, Newston <laughs> station. It's on the wall. What do you mean it's on the wall? Do you know how it says, like, <laughs> sail on at Dixon's, whatever? Yeah. Next to that, there was, like, a bit of information. Once you've read the stuff on Dixon's... Baguette information. There was, there was a big thing about <laughs> the history of the baguette. I read <laughs> it, and I thought, ah. Oh. <laughs> no, they, they, we, got, we got to make a sandwich we can spit down our trouser leg. 
But how can you march and fight with a huge piece of bread down your uh, train? Although it would be intimidating. You see them coming, you go, sacre bleu, look at the size <laughs> yeah. of them. They're, they're, they're big fellas. Well, I me. I, I, I can't ever feel that <laughs> could be a practical joke at your expense. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. Well, the Earl of Sandwich... Do you Sandwich, ever question anything you read? If it's no, printed up, is that, yeah. like, fact for you, then? Well, it's not funny. I mean, if they were trying to be funny, it's like... Well, <laughs> it's not, is it? So it's information. Have you heard us? Things sometimes the, the, want you know, to be that's, funny that's, when that's exactly what happened with the sandwich. The Earl of Sandwich wanted something he could fit down his pants. <laughs> And uh, it was a, those triangle cut sandwiches wrapped in cling film were perfect. Uh, um, you might be right. You might be right. I am. Because the Cornish pasty is so they could drop it down the mines, isn't it? Is they, it? Yeah, they wrapped it up in a, they wrapped up like meat and vegetables in pastry, and they sort of crimped it, and it was like a little, and they dropped it down the mine. So, yeah, that's how that came about. And bagels were originally made so that people could play hoopla, <laughs> but then <laughs> eat afterwards. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that. <laughs> That is true, Carl. <laughs> well, anyway. Like Carl My Bluff. Is yeah. Well, true. <laughs> yeah. They're well, all true. They're all true. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your well, kids that when you have them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they're still alive in a million years. <laughs> well, go ahead. it might be true. Can someone confirm um, that baguette fact that it was so Napoleon could stick it down Not him. his trousers? Not him, his, his soldiers. Men. His men. Yeah. Fascinating information. Fascinating bread information, Carl. Radio Ed. Yeah, now this is my song for the lovers. It's a beautiful track. It's let down uh, off OK Computer. It's one of my favourite radio host tracks. It's lovely. Right, set the tape going now if you want to tape yeah. you know, these songs. Avalanches. Frontier psychiatrist. Absolutely. Well, we've had lots of emails. Um, people, obviously, we inflamed uh, and provoked well, about actually, the, the, the Cornish really. pasty. Um, I've got a couple of amendments to that. The, the crusty bit, you know, is actually as a handle, because obviously the Mayans had dirty hands, and they'd eat the, all the stuff in the pasty, and they'd be left with this sort of crust, and they could throw that away. Mm -hmm. Also, someone told us that at one end was a, like apple, mm -hmm. so you have a little sweet as well. A little dessert. So, there you go. You noticed how, like, over the years we've been doing this, you know, way mm. back when we started XFM, no one ever contributes when we ask about the music, when no. we ask about hip-hop, no. or their, you know, opinions on that, anything no. important. No. But, start talking about pasties, yeah. we've had about five phone calls. Yeah. And like, someone, someone phoned up to confirm that they used to work for Upper Crust, and, uh, basically, Carl got all excited. So, uh, so it is true. She went, well, I don't know if it's true. I've, I've read the same sign you yeah. did, Carl. Interestingly, it, there's an email here that says, uh, which basically offers a history of the baguette, yeah. and uh, talks about after the revolution, the government decreed that all of France must eat the same bread, and it was up to the bakers to bake this bread of equality, yeah. um, and then Napoleon kind of um, made sure it was a particular, he kind of set in... in yeah, uh, in obviously on the bread you can eat anything you find in the garden, mm. frogs, snails, bits of horse, but squid. The interesting, th the interesting thing is, Rick, that there's no mention of sticking it down your trousers whilst going to war. The French have tried to keep that secret for <laughs> over a hundred years, it was Steve. It upper crust, people. Yeah, yeah, nearly, nearly yeah, 200, nearly 200 years. years, that is a top secret. Somehow Houston Station upper crust got hold of a document, <laughs> left behind in an old sea chest, possibly Napoleon's, could have been Josephine's, unfortunately jotted it down. He's kicking himself now. Oh, Sacra, I cannot believe I left a note. <laughs> if he talked like that. He did. He did, he did that, yeah, yeah, he talked English, exactly. but in a very funny <laughs> French exactly. accent. Do you remember, <laughs> there was one thing that, talking about funny French accents, do you remember, you remember Allo Allo? Yeah. Remember, it was on about five o'clock in the afternoon, but they still meant, because it was a funny Frenchman, it was that, that English guy who was posing as a French police yeah. officer. it's very 